No, was I don't that a dance. Decision, was that a decision? Yes, because, because this... you danced in the video. Yeah, I danced in the video, but uh, we wanted to focus mainly on the interpretation because I think it, it emphasizes the, the strength of the song much, much more, like yes. this. And I think everybody else could agree with, with me as well. Okay. And when, when, you're, when you're singing, when you're performing, are you thinking about someone? Are you are, are you interpreting a character? What what what, what is going through your mind when you? <laughs> I'm are... always interpreting a character, you know, okay. on stage. And here I'm just interpreting, you know, uh, a girl crazy in love and just going through all the stages of love, being totally insanely in love with someone, and then you know something goes wrong, and then you're not that in love anymore, and then you're crazy in love again. So that's what I'm like thinking all the about. Ups and downs, song. yeah, and you're, yeah, you're yeah, actually yeah, true. Making like a theatrical performance yes, of yes, the whole yes. thing. Yeah, I could see that. I could, see, I could, I could sense the the emotion and the power. Okay, that's good. We wanted yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. our goal. Like <laughs> thick. Yeah. Uh, so you you were. The opening act for Beyonce in 2013. Yes. In a concert in Zagreb. Did yeah. you get to meet her? Yes, I did. Wow. She's so beautiful. She's amazing, fantastic, phenomenal. And I, I you know, I had, I was so nervous. I don't remember, you know, the meet and meet and greet. I was so nervous of meeting, you know, Beyonce. She's my idol. She's been my idol since I was a kid. So it was a really great memory for me. And now she wants to meet Franca. <laughs> <laughs> now she's yeah. nervous watching Eurovision, going, "Oh, Franca." Yeah, it must be. <laughs> So crazy, crazy in love, I see a trend here. Uh, I was thinking about songs that use the word crazy, and of course there's Beyonce crazy in yeah. love. Yeah. Can I sing a little bit? Okay, I can. <laughs> I think I remember. You, you can help me, girls, if you can. It's like the part, uh, uh, got You me got me looking so crazy right now, your lips got me looking so crazy right now, your touch got me looking so crazy right now, looking so crazy in love, got me looking, got me looking so crazy in love. Dream come true, having yeah. crazy love sang by Franca. No, no, for me. Oh yeah. Ooh, okay. And then I thought about another one, which is Crazy by Aerosmith, which is a song okay. that I love. Yeah, I love that song as well. Okay. I love that song. Okay. okay, take it away. Crazy, crazy, crazy about you, baby. I'm losing my mind, girl, cause I. Just go on song. here all afternoon singing crazy songs. <laughs> yeah, we could. But we have to go to the audience and to have the questions from the journalists there in the back. Thank you. No pen, no pen, no. Hi, Franca. Alistair Birch from Eurofile Australia. Hello, hi. Last year in Australia, we went through a referendum on marriage equality. It was very divisive. Um, but I understand that Croatia did uh, something similar in 2013 and you released a song. Can yep. you tell us a little about it, please? About the song Ljubav, yeah. Yeah, it's a song that uh, we did in 2013. We had the same referendum as well. And of course, uh, love is love for me and uh, I don't see any difference between uh, you know, a man and a woman and a man and a man and a woman or a woman. And uh, for me, everyone has the right to choose. And uh, there is... Even, it's funny that you even have to have a referendum about that. For me, that's, that's a nonsense. And that's why we released this song in Croatia, and uh, I still have um, a very, you know, I get emotional when I, when I hear th this song or I see this video, and I re I'm really happy that you uh, said, that you remember that. I'm really happy. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you, thank you so much for those words. So yeah. You're, you're, yeah, true. So important, it really so is. So important, yes. it's, it's crazy. And it's, it's crazy. <laughs> but it's good that you're uh, a proud LGBT activist. Yes, I am, uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, and, but you're also an animal activist, aren't you? Uh, yes, yes, How I love Oscar, animals. How is Oscar, by the way? Oscar is great. He's, you know, uh, now uh, my boyfriend's mother is babysitting him right now. So That's I'm, the dog. I'm just receiving, you know, pictures, dog. photos of my dog. He's fine. Yeah, yeah, I love animals and I love uh, just, you know, doing stuff to improve animal rights because I, I think it's never enough. It's always going to be a problem. But, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> but I understand. Okay, more questions for Croatia? Yes, there. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Kees Bezema, Stephen Eurovision Artist in the Netherlands. Hello, hello. Uh, my question is, uh, two questions. One is, uh, you know a lot of languages. What is the next language that you want to learn? Second That's a question. Tough question. Okay. 
second question. Um, you can be crazy about somebody, but also about something, like a hobby or anything else. Of course. What would be the next crazy adventure you would like to get into? Ooh, that's a tough question because there's so many things that I'm crazy about and that I want to do. But basically, yeah, I'm really crazy about languages. I'm crazy about traveling, I'm crazy about animals, I'm crazy about love, obviously, and about music and dancing, a lot of stuff. But um, the next language I want to learn, oh my god, Portuguese, definitely, yeah. and French. But Portuguese, I love the language, and I kind of understand it. You yeah, do. yeah, yeah, so, so I, I really... So let's go in Portuguese then. Oh my god, no, no. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Pode, how do you say posso. it? Posso, posso, okay. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> but I love the language, Good. it's great. And uh, did you have the opportunity to visit something in, in Lisbon or um, you yes, just too busy? Yes, yes, yes. We went to Barro Alto as well and ah. we walked down the hill and I love it so much. And actually I was here twice, but I had uh, I was here only for two days so I didn't have enough time. But now I'm so happy. When you were filming the postcard? Yeah, the, the postcard okay. as well. And we went to Talaj now. We filmed it there and it was beautiful, beautiful. And the food here, I'm crazy about food as well. So food is, it was great. Great. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, Croatia has like a lot of good placings in, in Eurovision with Doris Dragovic yeah. and Daniela, and uh, but lately not so much. Uh, so, do you feel a huge responsibility by representing your country? Uh, when, when you accepted this invitation from HRT, was it immediately you were thinking, "Oh my God, I have to deliver because this is my country and so, it's Croatia." Yeah, first of all, uh, of course, there's a lot of pressure and there's this responsibility uh, for representing your country. But I have to really thank the Croatian National Television for giving me this opportunity to fulfill my dream. Uh, and I'm extremely proud to be standing here now. Uh, and uh, yes, I do feel the pressure, but I feel somehow that uh, the, the Eurovision fans and all the people in Croatia would be proud of me just with this performance, no matter how it goes, because this first semi-final is, is really tough, as you all know. Yeah, 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 we're calling it and, a bloodbath, because yeah, it's so complicated. That... It is, and I love all the songs, so I don't know who I would eliminate. But yeah, I, th I think they will be proud of us, uh, of what we did here. And did you get uh, any special advice for former, from former uh, entrants? Yes, yes, actually Jacques Hodek, who ah, I love, okay. yeah. He called me and he said, uh, just be focused on your goal and don't think about anything else, don't listen to anyone, you know, just trust in your song. And he was telling me that like two months ago and now I know what he was talking, <laughs> what about. He was talking about. Now that <laughs> yeah. you've seen the original yeah. bubble, uh, yes. that yes. you, you but I really love fully it. understand. Love it. Great. Yeah. Okay, more questions to Croatia? Uh, yes, here. Hello. First row. Hello, Franca. I'm Patrick from EFA 12, the Eurovision Euro Radio in France. Hello. Uh, hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Dobar dan. All languages we can go to. From your first rehearsal, all of a sudden the hopes went up for your song. Yes. How was your reaction about that? My reaction was just like. Like, I was seriously left speechless. I mean, uh, deep down inside, I was hoping for that to happen, and because I, I trusted so much, you know, I, in the song, and I stood behind it all the time, and I never, uh, you know, stopped believing in all of, in this performance and in what we wanted to do here. So for me, um, I'm extremely happy. I'm, I'm so happy that people recognize, you know, this song and that people get the emotions on stage. And all I can say is that I'm gonna, you know, give it my all to be even better in the semi-final. <laughs> yes, it's working. So I, I heard that you plan to release your first studio album in, in, yes. in the autumn. Uh, do you already know the style or is it a bit like crazy? Is it something completely different? It, it's gonna be in Croatian, so, in it's, Croatian. Not, yeah, okay. so it's not gonna be like crazy. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably, I'm gonna record the... Um, I'm gonna record it during the, the summer, so it's, I hope it's gonna be out in autumn, and then you can listen to it and, and see how it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> but are you thinking about something more poppy, more... Uh... I'm always more poppy, you know, I'm always uh, uh, like a mixture of pop rock and R&B, a bit soulful as well, yeah. and I don't like to, you know, just uh, uh, have one genre and stick to it, so I like to swim a bit, you know, in the genre, so we're gonna see the how it's gonna of, turn out. The best out. of yeah. many different worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what is the word for crazy in Croatian? Luda. Luda. Yeah. Do you have a version like Luda? <laughs> 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 
radio station in Croatia, they asked me, can you do a bit of a, like, can you sing the song in Croatian? I was like, oh my god, do I have to do it? Well, yes. it fits, actually. No, and then it, it had like 150,000 views, Oops. because people wanted to see how it looks and how it sounds like. And it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but you still didn't write the, the lyrics for, for that version. No, like, it's like, who does a Sounds great! It's funny, it's funny. <laughs> it's great, I love it. You should, you, should, you. you should release it. Okay, one more question from there in the back. Yeah. We should do, we should do a Croatian version. Yeah, please. Yeah. Hi, Alistair again. I understand you were in India recently. What were your impressions of the country and what were your impressions of Indian music? Oh, so I was in India 10 years ago for my cousin's wedding and I was really impressed with the country, I loved it. But of course, it's, 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 it's a, a crazy mixture of feelings that you feel in India. It's, uh, there's a big gap between poverty and, and very rich people as well, and of course the caste system. So uh, it gives you a sense of you know, being very uh, lucky and, and feeling lucky of where you grew up and that you have the chances you know, in life to choose your own, what do you want to do in life, what do you want to study, where you want to eat, where you want to go. Uh, so for me it was very eye-opening as well and I was 14 when I went there or 15 something like that so yeah I got a tattoo uh, right after I got back and it means dream it's uh, in Sikh because my, my cousin's wife is Sikh so uh, yeah it was it was a great experience and of course Indian music I love it I loved dancing to it I loved it absolutely yeah okay so now the, the, MC and everything. the yeah. Indian version of crazy can you oh my god oh my god oh. <laughs> No, no, I can't. There's the, I don't think you can do it in, in India because they have like a lot of this. Uh, lot of uh, the music should be changed a lot. This yeah, like not the, that the, the sounds should be the more. Sound, like, da -da 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 but it would work again. I think it works in every every language, every style. <laughs> it's a classic, crazy. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. Uh, so you 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 spent quite a long time in in Moscow because I know that you're boyfriend, partner uh, is playing there. Yes, yes. What is the secret for a very happy and long and successful long distance relationship? Uh, a lot of trust. A lot of trust. A lot of trust basically and a lot of love and uh, understanding. I think friendship, like you have to be a really good friend with that person to, to actually understand him or her and give you know the, the space needed. And that's it, and yeah, and do a lot of miles, a lot of traveling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a but lot of yeah, booking yeah. on the internet for a uh, lot, for a lot flights. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I think you know if something is strong enough, then uh, you can you know go through it all. And okay, endure it. Um, so maybe not the Indian, maybe not the Croatian, but could you sing the the a cappella version of of, of your song in, uh, uh, in English? Okay, we can try, girls. Are you ready? Are you ready? When I saw your eyes, girl, you're just like a movie, black and white. You made me go oh, oh, straight out of my mind. I swear that I, I will remember roses and horses in the rain make it forever, and I. Thank you.